Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show and explain you the most important transactions for ABAP. So basically for ABAP developers. So in general, ABAP is the programming language of SAP ERP and SAP S4 HANA. So basically all the logic, all the processes are executed and run by the programming language ABAP. And here right now we are in a start menu to display very important transactions for ABAP. Here we are in the area menu with the ID SDW0. So once you are in the start menu and then you type in this ID of the area menu, then all the very important transactions will be listed in different folders. So basically, if you open up the folder, then basically you will see uh, the transaction code and the description. By the way, if for example, the transaction code is not shown, then under extras and settings, you can select the setting display technical names and then also in the tree structure the transaction code will be shown if you haven't selected the setting then just the description will be shown over here so basically here we have some overview transactions here we have very important development transactions here we have some transaction codes for testing here for utilities here for administration and here for tools and as you might see right now there are a lot of transactions in the daily use of an ABAP developer um, some of those transactions will be used more some of them will be used less but basically you have also the ability to set up the area menu in SDW0 in your user profile so once you open up system and then user profile and then user data then you will open up the yeah, maintenance screen of your user profile and under the defaults tab here you can set up the start menu so basically here if you type in sdw0 and then you save it then basically every time you start the start menu so basically after logging in for example uh, basically after using the shortcut slash n and so on um, this start menu this area menu will be shown and if you would like to have a deeper look in then you can open up the transaction code se43n so this is the transaction code to maintain area menus and here if you type in the id so sdw0 then you can have a closer look so then basically you can open these up and under additional information transaction code display on off you will also see the transaction code right here so you can have a closer look as well and there is another very important area menu i think it's kind of like similar to this one it's the S001 area menu. So basically here you have uh, not the node administration, but you have also the very important transaction codes regarding ABAP. And for example, now I would like to go through very important transaction codes for ABAP developers. Um, those are the transaction codes, uh, yeah, the most important transactions codes in my opinion. So for example, if we open up the transaction code BAPI, then you will open up the BAPI Explorer. So BAPI, the abbreviation stands for Business Application Interface. So this is really important to set up several interfaces within the SAP system. And if you want to also work with enhancement, you can open up the CMOD transaction. So for SAP enhancement itself, so there is one more transaction the SAAB so this is one transaction for checkpoints that can be activated and a very very important transaction code it's the code, so called code scanner so within the code scanner there you have the ability to search for several yeah strings so keywords within your coding so basically here you can uh, limit your selection based on packages on objects what you like to um, yeah so here basically you can also search for every package starting with set so in your 
custom area or with your specific namespace. This transaction is, in my opinion, really important. And of course, you have to uh, be aware to use uh, great comments so that you can search within the code scanner your needed keywords. And then you can open up the SD11. It's the transaction for data modeler. And there is also the SDBE. It's a very important transaction for input SQL statements. So yeah, this is could be could be quite useful in your case. And then of course we open up the SE11. It's the transaction for the ABAP dictionary. And once again, this is in my opinion one of the most important transactions for our developers because here you can create, maintain, even delete specific other objects like database tables, views, data types like data elements, domains, type groups, uh, and so on. Really, really important transaction. Then we will have a closer look to the SE14. So this is the database utility. I think this is uh, really important if you would like to make changes to your database table, even though there are still some entries in there and you would like to uh, yeah, con contain these kind of entries in the table, um, then you can open up the data browser. The data browser basically offers three transaction codes with different functionalities. The, yeah, the, the oldest one, the SE16, then there is the SE16N and the data browser with the highest functionalities. It's the SE16H. So uh, yeah, this is a very important transaction code uh, regarding also the HANA database where you have a lot of functionalities there. Uh, yeah, then there is also the SE. 18 transaction, it's the transaction code for bodies. Um, yeah, really, really important, uh, like definitions and also for the bodies, there's the SE19 for the body implementations. So those two transaction codes can be used, for example, to, to search for existing bodies, to modify them and so on. And then we will open up, of course, the SE24. This is one transaction code for the class builder. And yes, of course, in ABAP objects, classes have a, a really important uh, role. Um, you work with class, classes, with methods, and so on. Really, really important. Then we move over, of course, to the SE37 to the function builder to yeah, create, maintain, delete function modules like an interface uh, where there is still, they are still being used in the SAP system. Uh, yeah, this is really, really important. And then we move over to the SE38. Yeah, this is the ABAP editor. And I think this is also one of the most important transactions for ABAP developers. Uh, yeah, because um, the, the, if you if you execute one transaction, then basically an ABAP uh, program is being executed. And with this transaction code, you can maintain your ABAP programs. Then kind of like similar transaction to the ABAP editor is the ABAP editor in split screen. So the SE9039. So here basically you can compare different ABAP objects like programs, functions, classes, interfaces and type groups on different areas on your screen. Uh, really, really important transaction for, for comparing purposes. Yeah, this is really, really great. Then regarding um, yeah, screens, there you can open up the SE41, the menu painter. And uh, in regards to that, the SE51, the screen painter. So here basically you have the ability to define screens. Um, yeah, so basically if you're calling some screens, um, yeah, basically they are defined and maintained within this transaction. Then you can open up the SE54 transaction. So the transaction for the maintenance views to, to create table maintenance and and so on. And then we have regarding subscript the SE71. So um, yeah, we would like to continue. So here
here basically you have the transaction for the form painter so for sap scripts then again a very very important transaction the se80 so basically uh, in my daily use i work with the se80 because there you can open up the object navigator um, the repository browser because there you have the ability to open up several ABAP objects uh, uh, grouped and categorized for different uh, yeah categories so if you would like to open up a program a package and so on and all the including objects are listed within a tree structure really nice um, so there you have also the ability to open up for example the ABAP editor built in the SE80 and work with them so in my daily work I use the SE80 a lot then you we can move to the uh, SE91 if you're working with messages with method message classes then you should definitely use this transaction to be able to yeah, create several messages in in different languages and so on then if you would like to get yeah, to, to to execute extend that program checks then we can open up the SLI and transaction so this is basically one uh, transaction to execute uh, ABAP program extended syntax checks based on very very uh, huge variety of checks really important uh, transaction in regards to code quality and in regards also for some kind of yeah, testing purposes. And then if you would like to investigate logs then you can open up the SM12 and with this transaction you have the ability to, to show um, your table logs based on specific tables, specific log argument, a client and a user and if you have the authorization you can also delete logs so you really have to be careful of course but basically here you can see um, if you should be able to make changes to one uh, object or not to a table a great transaction and then within the sm30 a really really important transaction because there you can uh, yeah open up the maintenance view of one table and there you can make changes directly on the table of course if there is one maintenance view available to a table but basically if you open up some yeah customizing nodes some customizing transactions then uh, and at a lot of points there you will open up basically a maintenance view and if you don't want to execute the s pro you, if you know the table you could also directly make changes within the sm30 a really transaction with huge uh, functionality then we have the transaction uh, basically smart foams um, smart forms so and there basically you can again create maintain and even delete sap smart forms and once again regarding to enhancements you can open up the s mod so basically here you can yeah maintain enhancements within the sap system then we move over to the se st22 uh, yeah again a really really important transaction to to analyze abab dumps at some point <laughs> some ABAP dumps uh, might occur uh, of course uh, they shouldn't occur in the productive system um, but if you would like to analyze dumps in the test or in the development system the, or even of course in the productive system um, this is a great transaction to analyze uh, ABAP dumps because there you get really nice information about the dump and you can analyze and find the root cause of your dump in my opinion quite easily and then there is one transaction called style underscore guide and within this transaction here you can yeah, basically maintain your style guide um, yeah, a nice transaction in regards to to business objects there you can open up the sw01 and if you have executed the sw01 then you will end up in the business object builder where you can here yeah, maintain business objects and if you would like to browse and then you can open up the sw02 
because then the business object browser will open up where you can yeah basically search for different business objects a uh, really really important transaction again in uh, regards to authorization is definitely the SU56 because here you can display some uh, authorizations in your buffer and um, this might be useful for checking what kind of authorizations are there for the user and if you open up the SU53 then uh, display all the the missing authorizations will be shown within here um, you can make a screenshot hand it over to the to the authorization to the SAP basis team and then they can enhance your roles if of course this is allowed should be allowed a really really great transaction then we have the suim and this is really great transaction a huge transaction in my opinion is the user information system um if you are working with authorizations this is the one transaction you definitely should have a detailed look because there you have based on user you can yes yeah, select users um, for example with critical authorizations you can search for different roles profiles for authorization itself authorization objects and so on so there you have a lot of functionalities available in here yeah and basically now i have shown you the most important transactions in ABAP in my opinion of course there are a lot more but basically those shown transactions um, might be used in your daily work as an ABAP developer yeah and if you like this video hit the like button if you have any questions left put them in the comment section and please do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel to never miss great upcoming videos thank you so much and see you in the next video